He claimed the paint is in pristine condition. I blame both guys. First, for sure, the inspector, because that was the insurance for my customer. Four fingers in this hole. Is this a solid car for you? That's not how I do business. Hey guys, welcome on my YouTube channel. This is our first episode in English. My name is Patrick Ludolf. I'm the owner of Oldtimer Zentrum Berlin. We buy cars, we restore them, and you know, we do everything with passion. So let me start with this beautiful 67 Camaro. Sorry, did I say beautiful? I'm sorry, my English is not so good. This shitty 67 Camaro convertible that we bought from Affordable Classics in Oregon. <laughs> What we got here today is an example of how this business shouldn't work and how it's done in a wrong way. This is our own experience. I don't want to bash anything or anybody. We don't want to make too much trouble, but when someone tries to screw you up or try to steal your money, we should show other potential customers how these guys might work. I'm not talking for other cars they are selling. This is just our particular example that we got. So this is where we are. We have this beautiful car, let's say beautiful. This is why my customer really wanted. So he was looking for a black convertible for speed. And you guys all know they are pretty rare. I offered him several cars, but he never got attached to a car because of the color. We start getting in touch. I think his guy was Louis, Louis Ruiz or something. He claimed to be the owner of this company. So we get in touch, we talked about the car. I called him, we were writing back and forth with the emails and by texting. So my customer ordered an inspection guy. So it was an agency to be like a insurance for this customer, right? Sadly, this guy who showed up, even he has absolutely no clue on cars or he was maybe a friend of the owner. I'm, I really don't know. My speculation are just based on the facts that we have here on this car. So when we look here and we have all the scratches and even the bondo is coming off of the paint and he claimed the paint is in pristine condition. You know, you all guys know what means pristine. So I can go with this car on a Pebble Beach Concourse d'Elegance and say, hey guys, this is my car. That's a pristine paint job. In this case, it's not, but let me show you some, some, some facts on the top we have here. But this, these are just the small issues we got here. The main issues are under the car and they are worse. So we got here cracks in the paint and bubbles under it, which means the, the water is running in, getting under the paint and uh, we got now some bubbles here. When the car arrived, we had like a, like a rusty line go flowing down the, the paint, you know? So because of, you know, COVID and all the stuff, the shipping took about six to seven months. And I asked him, hey man, what's up? Why this car is that rusty? You know what this guy told me? And this is, this is a ridiculous answer. And this is why I get so mad because we have so, so bad people in this business who are just thinking on their own profit. So when I asked him, what about, what happened to the pain? This guy told me this car stand for six to seven uh, months in the rain and in the sun. So that's the reason why we got all those bubbles here. We have a 50 or more than 50 year old car. And now this guy tries to tell me that because the car was in the sun or it was in the rain, the paint starts bubbling. Have you ever run into your, I don't know, in your BMW or your Cadillac, which is brand new, put it seven months outside and then it starts bubbling? It's not comparable. I totally understand. But if you have a good paint job, it will never start bubbling because of rain or sun or whatever. By the way, we ship all our cars in a closed container. So there is no rain, there is no sun, there is nothing because they are closed. Just to prove and show you guys that it's the car I bought from him. Here you can see right now the copy of the bill of sale, which we show you right now. So you can see on top, 
it's a VIN number. I, we can go and check out to prove the correctness of the VIN number. Let's see, we have here the VIN number, which ends with a 5942. Do you remember the bill of sale? You can check out the last four digits. It's exactly the car. You can see affordable classics and you can see old time at San Juan Berlin. But let's go around and let me show you how the trunk looks like. So don't get me wrong, I blame both guys. First of all, for sure the inspector, because that was the insurance for my customer. But I also blame the seller who knows what he has. So he cannot tell, oh, you know what? I didn't know that. So let me show you this. So we have here paint, which is cracking. So we have bubbles under the paint, right? So that's metal, right? That's, that's just an air bubble. Same thing here and same thing here, which is the worst part because you can just peel off the paint. You know, all these things are just not the main problem. You know, I show you something. So when I ask him for pictures from the lower edge of the door, which is always a very important fact to see what, you know, what's the structure of the car, how rusty is it, or maybe not. So I asked him to make me a picture of this spot. This is a picture I got from him. You see something? No, absolutely not, because he used to work with shadows and everything. Just to make a picture, show you what you want to see, but clearly not to see the details that you need to see. Let's check out the undercarriage. So we, we are talking about the main issues. And on this spot, you will see what I'm talking about and what's my main problem with stealing other people's money or claiming you have a perfect car or a very, very good car. Okay guys, now we're under the car and I'm going to so show you the whole tragedy. You know, keep in mind this car was bought to driven and not to make a restoration project out of it. So let me show you this area here. Can you see that? You see all this crisp here? So seriously, are you thinking this is just because of seven months shipping a car from over the ocean? I doubt it. When the inspection guy came and checked out the car, he should tell us. That's just fair. That's why we, we hire you because we need an insurance and that's the inspection guy. Same on the other side where you can see the rust is, is coming off and the sheet metal is already crunchy. Let me show you pictures that I got. So I got a picture with a view of this. So I see basically the rear end, I see the, the mufflers. But if I take one step forward, I see something like this. So take a look here. I can put easily four fingers in this hole. So seriously, are you going to tell me that this is something you can have overlooked or you were just too busy and forgot to, to note it. Let's take a look here. You can see they use silicon to just cover up something. I don't know what. You can see here we have three pieces of sheet metal. Nobody knows why it is there, what's the reason for. And seriously, this was an artist. This was not a body shop guy. This is an artist who, you know, probably tried to fix up something drunken after several beers, I don't know. But this is what we got here. So this is not, we have the same situation here. We have big holes here. So it's not, nothing you can not tell the potential buyer because seriously, if you hide this spot, in my world, that's a scam. Because you know you have it, you don't tell it anybody and you just hope, hey, you know what? It's an overseas buyer. He will never ever show up and it's out of my mind. I offered the owner a possibility to fix up this problem. So he told us, you know what? bring the car back to me. And obviously that's a gamble because he knows I'm from overseas. So, you know, the risk that he will get any consequences out of it, they're really small for him. So this is why we do this video because that's our single weapon we have to beware other potential buyers. What could happen if you deal with affordable classics from Oregon? As I said again, it's, it's just our opinion on based on this car that we got delivered based on the description we got. You know, so let's let's take a step forward and see what we got there.
Okay, so now we are in the front here and guys, what we see here is same stuff like in the rear. There's several pieces of metal. You can take a look here. You can just grab it, you know? So is this a solid car for you? I'm asking you, you can, you can write it down in the comments. Write me down. Is this a solid car for you? Take a look here. So the sheet metal, the panels are not attached to each other anymore. They're moving. Can you see that? Can you see this here? Do you think General Motors installed this piece of shit in 1967 on this car? And let me show you something really cool. Look at this hole. I mean, this, this space is enough for a red family to stay there probably with three generations. So how can you, how can you not tell potential buyers about this, this issues? Same for the inspection guy. That's not how I do business. We all love this game. We all want to make some more extra cash. That's all fine. I'm not against that. But do it in a fair way. Be an honest guy and don't steal other people's money. Guys, have you made any contact with the seller or what's your opinion? Have you any bought ever a car from them? What do you think about this situation? I'm, I'm very interested about that. Just to get an idea, do I think wrong or, or do I overreact? So would you pay 40k or even more for a car like this? Guys, um, this was our first English video. I'm not sure if we get more of that. Hopefully not in that topic because seriously, I don't want to run anymore in those cars, so um, we will see. Thank you for watching it. If you have any questions, call me or write me an email. That's fine. I'm also on Instagram, so you can contact me directly. Yeah, have a great day. Take care. See you next time.